And this is going to come up as a question. Um, my name is Bob Dominey. I live on, uh, on uh, uh, Ski Cove. And this is really a legal question. So if I can ask it in that way, I understand that the lawyer is here for this. Excuse me. <coughs> Yeah, very good. Thank you. Um, is the variance already complete? Do we already have, well, we, can we look at the variance already or is that completely written now or is it in process to be written? The variance will have to be voted on that night. It's not written out yet. It is not written. So then what is being voted on? So is it going to be, we won't be able to see <coughs> it until it is voted on. Is that correct? Well, it, it, there won't be much substance to it other than the fact that it's going to be granting the special exception pursuant to the ordinance to, okay. to develop as a conventional subdivision. And if that's true, is there going to be a clause in there that says, and this like maybe this is part of what the discussion is for the variance, but will there be allowance for this to be passed on to another developer? In other words, is this exclusive for this plan and for this developer? I think once the special exception is passed, it's not exclusive to that developer. Right. So if this developer then decides that they uh, change their mind, that they can turn sell it to any developer for any type of uh, conventional subdivision development. Is that true? I'll have to confirm that. That's, that's my initial thought. And if that's true, can a variance be a, amended or have a stipulation in it that that can't be done? So in other words, the, or the variance would say, you know, this is for this developer with this plan, which I actually is, I, I, I'm actually warming up to, so for all that, if that, if that, if that's, um, so with that being true, can, it, can you say that that will be the final plan with stipulation or a what I the word I talked to our legal today uh, non-assignable basically it's going to be where it can't be assigned to somebody else if it then if this is not the plan then it would effectively go back to being a conservation subdivision. What you're asking about is whether the board can attach as special conditions. Yes. To the special exception, I would have to research that if they were interested in doing it because of. Special exception is kind of unique under our zoning ordinances. It's right. I mean, it was referred to as a variance, but it, it technically is a special exception in the ordinances. Okay. So, I mean, if that's something that the board was interested in doing, I can find out the answer to that question. Okay. I would be curious if I could just ask it in my request. So that's all I had. We pretty much voiced everything last time we were here, so I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Thank you. Sure.